Hello everyone. My name is Lily Vichishi from BA Press Semester Psychology Department. Today, I would like to share about a book called The Purpose Driven Life written by Rick Warren. Before we get into detail, I will give a brief description about the author and the book. Rick Warren is an American evangelical minister and an author of religious book. He is also the founder and the senior pastor of Saddleback Church. His most prominent book as an author is a devotional book, The Purpose Driven Life. This book is being used to help pastors world over and also to provide help to young Christian leaders. The book provides readers a 40-day personal spiritual journey and also presents what Rick Warren says as God's five purpose to human life on earth. So what are those God's five purposes to human life on earth? Those five purposes to human life on earth are number one, giving pleasure to God, number two, being an integral part of God's family, number three, becoming Christ-like, number four, serving others with your gifts, with your talents, number five, spreading the word of God to non-believers. So the first point is God's first purpose for your life. So the thing that brings pleasure to God is worship. Music can be a part of worship. Besides music, there can be any other activities that can be transformed into worship as long as we're doing it for God's pleasure and glory. Second purpose for your life is being an integral part of God's family. As His children, the church is our spiritual family and the believers are our brothers and sisters. Third purpose for your life is becoming Christ-like. I'm not saying or the book is not saying that we have to become exactly like God or to be like God, but to be godly through our actions, through our thoughts, through our behaviors, the way we interact with one another, the way people look at you, let them see the Spirit of God in you. Let them know that he or she is a child of God. We should all know that. Fourth purpose for your life is serving others with your gifts, with your talents. Now, every one of us here is unique and everybody has different gifts and talents that God has bestowed on us. How can we serve God? Many may question. We can serve God by using the given abilities and help each other, help one another, and also lend our helping hand to those who are in need. It is a full-time commitment and not something we do it in our free time. Fifth purpose for your life is spreading the love of God to non-believers. Our ministry, your ministry is about serving other believers, whereas our mission is about reaching out to those non-believers by spreading the love of Jesus Christ and reading the Word of God to them and bring them more closer to God. Also, I would like to say that in the process, we are impacting an eternal salvation for them and also impacting an eternal salvation for ourselves. Lastly, I would like to convey a message to everybody that every one of us here is struggling. Every one of us have different, tele- uh, different struggles, different stress, different sorrows, different grief. But I assure you, if you entrust all your sorrows, all your weakness, all your sadness unto God's hand, He will surely listen to your prayers. He will surely answer your prayers and everything will be fine according to God's time. All we have to do is be patient and have faith, trust, hope in God. I would like to conclude the video with God's word as it is written in the Bible in Matthew chapter 7 verse 7, Ask and you will receive. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door shall be opened unto you. God bless. Thank you.